Another big story here at five downtown Dallas is getting a new deck park that we've talked a lot about. It'll be more pedestrian friendly streets, even some additional walkways between buildings, all part of the plan for the new K Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center, which voters approved last fall. Andrea Lucia tonight giving us a sneak peek at what it could all look like. A Dallas City Council members on two key committees are getting briefed right now by city staff. The plans that we're seeing do more than just add a new convention center. They'd redesign the way downtown Dallas looks, all the way from Union Station to City Hall. New renderings show a modern convention center. It'll have more than twice as much meeting room space as the current K. Bailey Hutchison, and a ballroom nearly four times as big as any that exists there now. Certain design elements could change, but Visit Dallas CEO Craig Davis says there's a good chance it'll have a green roof with grass. And he says it will definitely need a vertiport to accommodate future modes of transportation. Helicopters, uh, single use helicopters are coming. It will be something that will service that. But the plans go well beyond the new building. They show a deck park similar to Clyde Warren Park, connecting downtown to southern Dallas. We're going to be turning the convention center north south so that it opens up the gateway between the Cedars and downtown and a seamless connection over I 30 to be able to make it one neighborhood. So the, the real promise is not only a new convention center, but all of the surrounding services and restaurants and retail as well as as people that can can go and live and work and play there. Lamar and Griffin streets would be redesigned with wider sidewalks and bike lanes to become more pedestrian friendly. Elevated air conditioned walkways would also be built connecting the Hyatt and Union Station to the convention center too. I think the plan is absolutely amazing primarily because we're included in it. The Black Academy of Arts and Letters will be renovated as well under the plan, upgrading its facilities to attract bigger acts. Like I'm in conversation now with some Broadway producers to bring shows here to the theater. It's evidence. Founder Curtis King says Dallas isn't forgetting its own culture. Plans released today also shave a year off the expected construction of the convention center. It's now expected to open in the first half of 2028. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea.